what's good family so mash the like button and subscribe so your boy david big toe hey has sent out some fiery words david david big toe hey has mustered the strength to speak out against big john fury now that it's now that it's back home again now that it's no end now that it's no way near the smoke with john fury david hey has found his voice just like he found his big toe in germany don't forget that. People, many people criticise Big Toe, yeah, but he found his toe, right? He found it. 100%. He found a problem in that fight, because it was definitely his toe. And now, again, he's found his voice. Let's not forget, when he went up, listen, a month ago, a couple months ago, when Big Toe went up against Big John Fury, at that point in time, he couldn't, he lost his voice. <laughs> he lost his voice, it was shocking. It was shocking to see a former fighter explosive Don lose his voice against a big 70 year old man shocker not even a bit of smoke did Big Toe want didn't want none of it did he lost his voice did David A anyway he's found it now all, all, all's good and well David Hay has, I'm glad to report to you man David Hay has found his voice here we go then let's get into it no more messing about Big Toe said the following I'm calling it very, very different to the majority of people. A lot of people think I am crazy. They say, did you not watch Fury vs. Wilder in Vegas? I did. I was ringside and I was commentating for BT Sport. I know how powerful Fury is when he's up for it. I really do. But I have also seen when he didn't look up for it. His prior fights going into that fight, he didn't look great and I feel that Fury and his old team are treating AJ the same way AJ treated Ruiz the first time round. AJ walked into the ring with so much confidence that he knew he was going to win because he was just better and it didn't happen for him that night. I think the same thing could happen with Fury that him and his old team do not rate AJ and therefore they'll overlook him with overconfidence. I've heard the interviews where they just do not rate him. They just do not think AJ is good. Big Toe goes on. But AJ has the skill set. He has all the tools that one would require to have a game plan realistically to beat Fury. A very slippery, tough guy to beat is Fury. You need to punch in clusters. One big punch at a time isn't good enough. Ask Beyonce Wilder about that. You need good footwork. You need to be able to set up your attacks. You need to really be tuned in to believe you can win the fight. But you also have to have that fear in your belly. I don't believe Tyson Fury will go into the AJ fight really believing that he's up against it. That he's going to have to be perfect fighter that night. I think he's going to walk in the ring like he did against Wilder. And just really have a good go. And just hope the same thing happens to AJ that happened to Wilder. The book is favour Wilder, so I understand why people believe Fury is going to do it. I just like what I saw in the AJ's last fight against Pulev. He was calm, he took some shots. He really reminded me of a prime Lennox Lewis in that fight against Pulev. And I think he is just improving every fight. I'm really looking forward to this. They have to get this fight on. So, let us take this from the top then. Because... I, I disagree with most of this, shockingly enough. I mean, Big Toes, his heart's in the right place, but he's, he's, it sounds messy to me. So the first thing he says is that I know how powerful Fury is when he's up for it. Do you mean in general his presence, i.e. his ability to bore Klitschko to death, or his ability to wash Wilder? Maybe that's what you... In fact, that's the only thing you can mean. Because bottom line power... And half of the reason I'm so adamant AJ needs to march forward. Half of the reason, or the main, or the whole reason I'm adamant this is an easy fight if AJ fights in a particular way. It just comes down to stats. AJ's, like, one for one. One left hook for one left hook. AJ's doing multiples more damage. So, mathematically, it doesn't make sense to stay on the outside. Where, a jab is a jab, really. <laughs> it's difficult, you're not... Yes, AJ jabs heavier than Fury's, but you ain't gonna 
Unless you're tripling it up and driving forward, which is also a strategy I'd employ. Don't get me wrong. If AJ's in there and he's driving Jab forward free time, fair play. That that can work, but that's not what we've seen. We haven't. It's not like AJ was in there with Pulev marching forward, tr tripling the jab up. It was that typical Fury style, if the truth be known. That was the old Fury style. AJ versus Pulev for the main, apart from the snippets in round 10 or round 3, whenever it was. The main of it was kind of Fury-esque. Dance around, land jabs, and keep dancing. That ain't going to work. So, David Hay saying, you know how powerful Fury can be. No, I don't know how powerful Fury can be. He looked powerful against Wilder, who had never fought no one with any power. And has avidly avoided people with power. Moving on. He says AJ, he says Fury's team are overlooking AJ. I disagree with that. I give Fury his credit. I don't believe, yes, he talks a good talk. But he said similar things about everyone. I actually believe Fury is going to come in his best ever. If he does, assuming he signs the fight, that is. I don't think he's going to overlook it. I actually think it could go the other way. I.e. he's too stressed. He's, I think that's more likely than him overlooking it. AJ, AJ's been in Fury's head for 10 years. Since they sparred. So we all know. Ain't no overlooking going on from Fury's part. In my opinion. He's going to be. He's going to try to be his best. Now does his. Does he end up overcooking it mentally? Possibly. That's more likely than undercooking it, I believe. Anyway. The next part's just a complete contradiction. He says, oh, yep, AJ was too overconfident in the Ruiz fight. And I think Fury is going to do the same thing. What? AJ, that was one of the main points against AJ. His lack of confidence in that fight. It's not what Hay was watching. Oh, yeah, AJ went in there and he just knew he was going to win. What? That's not what I saw at all. I saw someone who looked some sort of um, neuron damage, his brain weren't firing correctly, and then, on top of that, confidence definitely weren't there, likely because of said injury. Either way, I'm not sure what pipe is smoking. And also, again, I completely disagree with the whole thing of Fury's going to go in there and be too confident. Although, he does say he thinks Fury's going to go in there and try and repeat a Deontay Wilder 2.0. I.e., he thinks maybe he can just ball over AJ the same way he did to Wilder. W will Fury be that naive? I don't. I just don't believe it myself. I don't believe Fury believes it. I don't believe Fury believes he's going to go in there and do the same thing that he did to Wilder. Just, I, I, he may say he may say that deep down he knows that's not going to work. Not him anyway. Not AJ. No way. He knows it as well. He knows it. Deep down in his heart, he knows this is his hardest fight. And that's why I'm not even sure he signs it. We're all talking about this at the other strategy. He ain't even locked it in yet. Anyway. Next part. He says. And this is actually part that I strongly agree with. He goes. You need to have punches in clusters. One big punch at a time isn't good enough. Ask Deontay Wilder about that. Now, Wilder's another level. Wilder's one punch really is one punch. AJ's never been that static. But, and I'm actually surprised, later on David Hay says, Oh yeah, well, I'm even more sure AJ wins, given the Pulev fight. I actually think the Pulev fight's an argument against AJ as such. That stra that kind of strategy, that too just too calm. And again, it's a contradiction. Hey, saying, yep, he needs to be active. AJ needs to be punching in uh, clusters. I completely agree. He needs to go in there and work. Not too many. You don't want to go wild, though. It needs to be just, just touching. Just touch something. Just work. No good throwing shots in the guard, though. Arms are fine, head's fine, body's fine. Guard, no good. If you throw an up, if, if you throw one uppercut and it's in the guard, don't throw three more in the same place. Don't make no sense. For example. But yeah, either way, clusters is an absolute given. Effective cluster punching. Whether it's twos, threes, fours, fives, whatever. Working. Mike style. How Mike Tyson used to fight for the first four, five, six rounds, extended for 12 rounds. That's how it needs to go. 
Canelo, or better yet, Canelo with more combinations, with more volume. Simple as that, no doubt. But then equally, Hayes says, well, yeah, the Pulev fight showed that. No, it didn't. The Pulev fight was the opposite. The Pulev fight was one minute throwing loads, and the other eight rounds was very one-paced. Very few combinations. Very little work was going on in them eight rounds. It was a relatively close fight. Of course, AJ won every round of them eight rounds, but really it was close, if that makes sense. It wasn't pure domination. It wasn't that kind of performance here. The eight rounds AJ did against Pulev, I'd say, was kind of like a Fury domination. Fury fans would see that performance and say, yeah, that's domination. But really, true boxing fans, that's not a true boxing domination. Like, for me, a true boxing domination would be Canelo versus Smith. Backed him up to the ropes. There was no middle ground. Back to the ropes. And then halfway pushing his ish in for him. Yeah, don't get me wrong, Canelo didn't fully push his ish all the way in, but he got halfway there. Pushed, backed it up nicely. Yeah? He'll be on the, what do they call him? What's them, he'll, he'll be on them, he'll be on that laxatives. For sure, after Canelo versus Smith, Smith was taking heavy laxatives afterwards. A million percent. Canelo could have done more though, he could have put more volume in, but the bottom line is, that there, it's a boxing performance. Not even a little bit of doubt. Backed up and bullied. That's what I call a boxing domination. AJ versus Pulev is more that Fury versus Klitschko boxing domination. It's, it, you know what I mean? It's not even boxing domination. It's that bo that Fury fan style. But we ain't need no Fury fan style. We AJ style. AJ is the ultimate style. And that really links me into what he says about the whole Pulev, sorry, the whole Lennox Lewis thing. Long before David Hay, long before Big Toe, I told you, man. AJ has the ability to be the best hybrid of Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson. The Pulev fight, in my opinion, didn't show that, but that's his ability. He's the best hybrid. Got that DNA, got that elder DNA. Yeah, you've got the Promethean DNA, 1 million percent. The Prometheans, 3,000 years ago, the Prometheans, yeah, they made this next thing. They saw Mike, they saw, they, they went back in the future, yeah, they saw Mike, they saw Lennox, they put this next, <laughs> they put this next engineer glue together, next engineer DNA glue, and AJ was the product. These engineer dons, they'd already been in the future, they saw Mike, they saw Lennox, and AJ was the, the hybrid thing, the glue thing. The engineer Promethean thing, no doubt. At this point in time, it's, it's a case of AJ's training team and whether, well, who AJ wants to be. Some fans, some AJ fans are really thrilled with the Pulev performance. And that's for each of their own, isn't it? But the way that the, the, way the Pulev fight went is like Fury fans celebrating the Klitschko win. Yes! AJ didn't get punched once, and David Hay even said, oh yeah, AJ took a few shots against Pulev. He didn't take no shots. So hats off to him in that regard. If AJ's style now is about not taking any shots, then he, yeah, 10 out of 10. Didn't get hit once. If it's about purely dominating, if it's about getting someone on the laxatives, then that wasn't it. Pulev, Pulev didn't, 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 didn't even take one laxative after the fight. And in my opinion, AJ has the ability to give people full impactions. Yeah? Back it all the way up. Get that big, nice, bubbly impaction in there. 